Welcome back to M19, the sequel. I am going to lower lower this volume a little bit so that we don't get over overwhelmed. Yeah, I just checked to make sure it wasn't modern. It was indeed standard. I need more blushy emotes. <laughs> Should I make a blushy emote? Uh, I feel like we're always looking for the mill deck. We just uh, if we if we find it, we'll we'll take it. I mean, I'll I'll take a first pick psychic corrosion. Watch, there's gonna be a psychic corrosion. Oh, an exclusion mage and a grave digger, huh? Well, all right. Another Isolate. I could have probably 19 Isolates if I wanted them. I don't, but I could. Guy that plays bass, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Unfortunately, there is no... It's either one of these two. I'm I, I'm pretty sure Gravedigger's the, the better pick. And, uh, you know, I don't want the YouTube guys to be like, wow, he's getting worse with every draft. So I'm just going to take the Gravedigger. Even if I explain why I'm taking a different card over Gravedigger, I'm still considered getting worse. It's very interesting. That list I sent you, I built a paper and have played it mostly multiplayer, but also 1v1 a bit. It's reasonable both, but it occurs to me that 1v1 bonus. Yeah, um, so the thing is, like, Josh, I've been thinking about it, and I'm not sure I'm well-versed in Commander enough to make these changes. Like, I don't know metagames. I don't know, like, what individual cards are good or bad. Like, this might be biting off a little more than I can chew, if you know what I mean. Because you were just like, oh, you can just swap it out for something else. And I'm like, but I don't, I would have no idea where to even begin. Uh, to you know, Oh, another Isolate. Well, that's fantastic. I'm just going to get this Psychic Symbiont like you do. I wouldn't even know where to begin, to be quite honest with you. And I hope that doesn't sound like a cop-out, but like, I am not well-versed in standard. Like, I usually default to Mike for all the standard stuff. I'm always like, hey man, is this card good? And he, or like, there was, I was actually, I sold a bunch of cards to Card Kingdom. I had a huge box of cards. And I sold them to Card Kingdom, and I was like, there were cards I didn't even know were worth money. And I was just looking through foils. And at first, I was just going to bulk out all the foils and be like, five cents each, fine. A bunch of uncommons and common foils, sure, five cents each, whatever. And then I was like, wait, well, let me stop. Commander's weird. Let me go through these. I'll take the day, and I'll just go through all these cards and figure out if some are worth more than others. Oh, I like a Surge Mare. Um, so I did it. It took me hours. It took me, like, the whole weekend, like, last weekend. Or the weekend before that. One of those two weekends. And, um... I found, like, a Utopia Mice... Mycon? You guys probably know exactly what I'm talking about. It was from Future Sight. I don't know the name of it. Utopia Mycon. And I, I mentioned it in the car. I was like... I was, I mean, Mike were hanging out. And I was like... This one card, Utopia Mycon, you know what this is? And he's like, oh yeah, I know what that is. And I was like... I have never heard of this card outside of Commander. Or outside of, like... Not even in Commander, but I would assume it's a Commander card. And the card's like 10 bucks. The foil is 10 bucks. And I was just like, this is ridiculous. So at that point, I was just like, I need to piece out all of this and figure out what I'm actually selling because it's one of these two. I'm going to take Surge Mare. Oh, Volcanic Dragon. Well, you're not the pick. I think it's probably Dwindle. I like Dwindle over Divination. If you guys aren't sold on Surge Mare, I actually saw a comment. There was a YouTube comment, and uh, it said, Surge Mare over Divination seems something. Hold on, let me look it up. I'm having a good time with comments today. They said, taking Surge Mare over Divination seems very wrong to me. And I went to go respond to it, and it was already gone. And I was like, have you seen the error of your ways? I'm going to take Dwindle. That happened to me with Council's Judgment. I had no idea it became a major Eternal Corner card. Council's Judgment is like 50 bucks? No way. Oh, wow. The foil is expensive. Oh, my God. It's probably Epicure of Blood over just random 1-3 Spirit, right?
I don't like this guy or this guy. This card's just almost almost terrible. This card's unplayable, right? This is a nightmare horror. If this is a spirit, I would be on board. I think we can get more Epicures. I think I do just like having a 1-3 spirit with float. I'm going to take the... Uh, Child of Night or Doom to center better? This is one of the uh, the age-old questions in this limited format. The lifelink is nice, especially with the, all the... Uh, what, do you, what do you call it? 1-3 spirit does block 1-2 Valkans. Say no more. I'm going to take the Child of Night because it actually gets... It also gets through 1-3 Valkans. 1-2 Valkans. Charwar, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Yeah, um, Commander is real weird for magic pricing. Like, to the point of, like, I'm uncomfortable by these card prices. I felt like I had to look through my entire box. And there was, like, literally, it was, like, one of the 5,000 count uh, wide boxes with, like, five rows. And, like, three of the rows were full of um, foils. Just, like, basic common, uncommon foils. And so I was like, well, I guess I'm looking guess I'm looking through all this. Big medium fan. Nice. That was, that's all I could ever ask for. That's all I could ever ask for. I'll take a mind rot. I'm just gonna take this. Yeah, I'll take a duress. I was gonna take the isolate, but I'm like, that's oh, like probably a nickel, dude. Oh, well, I'll get another. Wow, another duress isolate. Now I'll take the isolate. <laughs> Whatever. Eh, none of these cards are great. I'll just take the Highland Lake in case we find a red card. Oh, look. Unplayable. Eh, look. It's just really really etching it into our brain there. Huh? <laughs> now we have an answer to Neonate. Touche. Touche. Isolate does kill 1-2 Valkans. You are correct. We have a lot of 1-2 Valken responses here. This is good. Oh, another Lich. I'm just going to take Psychic Symbiont again. Boy. Sure would be nice to open rares in this form. Psychic Symbiont feels like the Denaro Denarova Horror of the set. I you I let you down. I never gave you any any indication that I was going to be playing modern. There is no hint at modern whatsoever, my friend. You let yourself down. You played yourself. Oh, go to land seventeen in a row. Yeah, that was uh that was a hell of a card. Oh, I like a regal bloodlord. Can we make that work again? I also like a lightning strike off of this Highland Lake. I think we'll probably just take Lich's Caress, because that's, like, probably just as good in, in our colors. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? You guys know what I'm saying? Also, if you guys are new subscribers, um, and make sure you connect your Twitch account to the Discord channel. Because then you'll get access to the Discord. Hamburglar, rubble, 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 big fan, get wrecked. Well, that's amazing. Hamburglar, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Uh, can you tell me what Grimace is like? Because I've always been curious as to what Grimace is like. So, if you could tell me what Grimace is like, I would be grateful. Big fan. I'm going to take Horizon Scholar. I think a lot of people would say Strangling Spores. No, maybe not a lot of people, but some people would. I think Horizon Scholar is OP. Also, when, once you get the three, uh, the three six drop deck, I think you're more inclined to take a Manolith and play it. I'm gonna take Strangling Spores here, for obvious reasons. I could I could see myself taking this, but this is our only artifact. 
I think mirror image is not great. I mean, it's good when you have a big dude, but if you don't have a big dude, oh, that's a that's a nice sky scanner. Essence scatter, yeah, that's pretty good. All right, our deck's looking pretty sweet right now. I've been waiting all weekend to post that hamburger message, but you, wow, <laughs> why? Wait, why though? What did I did I miss something? Was there a hamburger meme that I just missed? Oh, another mirror image. I'll take it. I'll take a mirror image now. I think it's probably better than abnormal endurance. Especially when we have these three guys. No, it was funny. Okay. <laughs> I agree with you. It was funny. I just wasn't sure if there was like some meme that I missed out on. Oh, wow. Supreme Phantasm Fan Phantom number two. Oh, yeah. I'll definitely take that guy. Now we're just drafting the Phantom deck. You were the bomb in Phantoms, yo. Ben Affleck was the bomb in Phantoms. You guys know what that's from, right? God, I hope so. Neonate. I don't think it's... We have a Grave Digger. I'm less inclined to play Macabolts when I have Grave Digger. However, is this back two? I feel like our deck is almost done. You want a chocolate covered prince? <laughs> I'll take Macabolts. Oh, Child of Night came back? And a Divination? And a and a Cancel? All, these All four of these are real playable. I don't think it's the five drop. I think we actually just want Divination to make sure we hit our, our lands. We also have a bunch of two drops, so I'm not too concerned with the Child of Night. Yeah, definitely not taking Lich. <laughs> oh, boy. I'm going to take this Trumpet Blast in the hopes that someone else in this draft cannot Trumpet Blast other people out because that's not fun for anybody. I'll take one with the machines. I don't think we want a second to rest. We do have a sky scanner to make our our one with machines draw us three. It's not terrible. If we get a manolith, I might consider playing it. Although we do have divination, um, we have a lot of card advantage. Um, I don't think we're playing frilled sea serpent. I think I'd just rather have it totally lost. I'm going to hope for a Nicol Bolas instead of a Dijin. Because then I'll just splash it off of this Highland Lake. Wow, another one with the machine. All right. You're not going to find me passing a point zero zero five ticket rare. That's for sure. Oh, uh, Talarian Scholar number two. Ah, oh, Infernal Reckoning, the other card with Isolate that I'll, I'll open in every single draft. Seems good. I think it's actually Sky Scanner number two because it almost makes our one with, one, one with the machines better. I don't like Ravenous Harpy. Well, not in this deck anyway. I could see taking Drake, but I actually think Sky Scanner is the better card because we want to hit our lands to hit these five and six drops. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Ben Affleck was the bomb in Phantoms, yo. Oh, see, we can just take this Snapping Drake. Which I think is better than Scholar. I don't think we're at a point where we're like, oh, we're so saturated with artifacts that this guy's always going to trigger it. I just have the Flyer. Especially because we have a bunch of early blockers. I do like a Disperse. This pack's pretty bad, though. I could just take another Highland Lake, just in case someone passes the Nicol Bolas fourth pick. Let's 
<clears throat> oh, no Nicol Bolas. That's rude. I guess it's Doom Dissenter. This is like the worst Scepter, I think. I can see taking Stag, but what's the point? Whatever, I'll take the Stag. I think it's significantly better than Doom Dissenter. One Frank ignored me, so I need a therapy book. What? What? How did I ignore you? I responded to your very message. Where are you? Did you say something else? One message after. Uh, what did you say? Hold on. Hold on. My hopes and dreams are crushed. Will you be playing some battle? Oh, that's right. Okay. Yeah. Well, I, I'll, I'll I'll let you know before I play it. I'll have to finalize it with you. Hold on. Yeah, I'll email you back after this. I'm just gonna take the card in our color. Oh, a Polaco arm, eh? Hmm. Well, isn't that fascinating? I'm just going to take this. I don't even care. I'm not going to play anything else. I'm not going to play this or this. I could take Shock. I'd rather just have one less Polaco arm in the world. I'll be honest with you. Eh. Doom to Center again. This is actually what compelled me to take the Doom to Center the first time because I was like, you know what? There could be a world where we just don't get enough playables. Like, the, the packs could just dry up. And they're kind of doing that, which is very interesting to me. Wow, our first... Alright, this is our pack one again. I guess we'll take the Ravenous Harpy now. Wow, those are... This, this pack was rough, dude. Our deck was great, and then this pack was like... It ain't that great. And I was like, oh, alright. Touche. Take a Cinder Barons, which does let us splash a red card if we get that shock back. We won't. I think this guy is actually fine. Actually, yeah, Harpy with Harpy with other Doom Dissenter probably puts us at 23. I think that's actually probably better. And therefore, much lost chance on the Bob Strike Back tonight. Thanks a lot. That's one of my least favorite Kevin movies, Kevin Smith movies, but I think it's still watchable, which is funny to me. Mm, not gonna play the other dude. Also, Elk Tears, what's going on, buddy? I did not. I uh, I forgot to respond to you. Yeah, this pack was terrible for us. I am grateful our deck was mostly built before we got to this pack. Yeah, I'm probably just going to submit like this. I don't see us playing another one with machines. If we don't have any of these guys out, we just draw zero. It's pretty bad. All right. Well, submission is nice and easy. Yeah, I'll keep this. Iced coffee. Thanks so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> Not splashing Palaka. Not. Oh, look here. Oh my God, we did it again. Apparently, this is just a thing to do. It's okay, I got it under control. Hmm. 
I like it. Let me get to draw a card. Woo! You'll never get me with your Rustwing Falcons again. All right, we're coming up on on these guys real quick. This is nice. How come this isn't a Construct Spirit, a Thopter Spirit, if you will? What are you gonna do? Oh, you're using Revitalize. All right. That's just a cantrip. A runic armosaur. I don't think I have many activated abilities. So that's okay. Hmm. Do I divination here? Or do I keep up disperse in case they have a trick? I'm going to keep up disperse. We have a land. So next time we can play a land and uh, divination keep up disperse again. We get no real value out of dispersing, out of divination here. And we're just going to take damage. What's going on, Undreamt Tuna? Eyelashes are so weird, man. Every time I go to pull out an eyelash, I'm like, wow. There's like five of these bitches. This is a lot of eyelashes. That was a real high thought, wasn't it? <laughs> eyelashes are so weird, dude. I'm going to double block this guy. And if you have a trick, I'll just bounce this guy. Yeah. I like that they use the white here so they can't recast this. That's pretty good. That's some value right there. The pulling out five ashes is normal, but shouldn't be alarming. Like, do I have any left? <laughs> what? How many are here? But, like, no, nothing happened. It's... Nose hairs are, are a little strange, yeah. Why do hair why does hair grow in these places? Wow. Wow. Oh yeah. I think I think this game's over just because to catch germs, really? Because you only grow them after a certain age. So like I mean I know that's obviously why um eyelashes exist, but I mean, like, it's weird that, like, after a certain age, your nose becomes more defensive towards germs. I'll block your... Like, if you have a trick, okay. If you have another titanic growth, sure. They didn't have a trick. Unless they have a rabid bite. And they are really trying to get rid of the Supreme Phantom. Wow. That's aggressive. Joke's on you. My whole hand is is big floats. Oh, yeah. Put you on top. I don't care about you. Big floats. Mascara is basically like taking vitamins. That's fantastic. But <laughs> I'm taking some eyelash supplements. Yeah, you got it. Yeah, you got it. Our opponent should really get a fourth land. Oh, that was a good draw. And they discarded Druid of the Horns. Okay. I see what's going on here. Game was over when the opponent cast Revitalize. Well, that's unfortunate.
Oh, you took vengeance on my Horizon Scholar. Oh, that guy's big now. Really, no attack with the dagger, dagger basque. Proper polygon, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> so, this is eight mana. We can play Drake and keep up spores. Seems pretty good. Let's do that. Actually, we're probably just going to play Symbion because they have one card left in hand. Let's see if it's a good one. Oh, that was a good one. Okay. Just mono daggerback basilisk, basilisk dot deck. Oh, now you're attacking with this guy. Interesting. Last turn you were not going to do that. Now you're like, I'm, I'm going to do it now. So, one, two, three, four, five... Guardian. Probably Drake here. Which lets us... I guess we don't care about blocking this. We can got a double block here. Keep up spores. I think it was more important to get rid of the uh, the one three flyer. Courser, you you got it. I want to kill one of these guys because they're pretty obnoxious. And I'll just take two. Why do people incorrectly play Skyscanner in a non-artifact deck? I have no idea what you're saying right now. Is that your subtle way of saying I'm playing incorrectly? Because, <laughs> like, it's, it's pretty poor. It's, it's actually completely fine. It's a 1-1 one -one that replaces itself though, with Flight. It's I, I think you're actually just not great if you, uh, if you think it's incorrect in decks that aren't artifact-based. Subbed for Soul Mike, staying for Frank Mike perfectly. Perfectly? Uh, I read I read perfectly. Did I not? No. I don't know what I'm saying right now. I'm trying to concentrate on this and chat, uh, which is not super easy. Uh, I guess we're just dealing six here. Just kill that guy to be safe. We have more than enough. Yeah, I have no idea like how a a a one one flyer for three that replaces itself in a blue black control deck with a heavy top end is not correct. That just seems very strange to me. Why do most streamers and YouTubers play in the intermediate uh, rather than the higher difficulties? Is it for more funsies? We know you. Uh, okay, so the reason that most streamers and YouTubers play in this is because they're creating content for entertainment value. And uh, if you've ever watched a Channel Fireball video where they lose in the first round and you that's the end of the draft, um, it's pretty pretty miserable. Oh, they're not even going to let me block. They're just like, you know what? Forget it. <laughs> we could literally just take three, four, six, seven and kill you. Um... It's because I would rather play three rounds of Magic than hope I don't get mana screwed in round one or two and not get to play a third round. So. Added two new popsicles to my truck at the request of Hispanic construction workers, chamoy, hot sauce, and fruit. Oh, that sounds awesome, dude. Way to go, Matthew Ori. I would also be curious how they are. You have to try your product, right? 
I just want to say thanks a lot. Last week, I won my first seal. People, that's awesome. Charlie Gag, congrats, buddy. And first competitive tournament since I returned to play in Dominaria. I left several years ago, and a lot of things changed. I made it to the top eight in the eighth. At least my draft is really nice. All because of your content. Thanks again. Oh, that's awesome, dude. I'm so stoked for you. Congrats. Exodus, I hope I, I hope I answered your question uh, adequately enough. It's a content thing. It's a content and value thing for me. Like, I would rather play three rounds. Uh, I, and I also don't think the competition is... I don't think there's any proof that the competition is more fierce in the other leagues. I think that's just what people assume. But I don't think there's any evidence for that. Like, I've seen better players in intermediate leagues than, than I've seen in videos with the, um, you know, the, the single elimination leagues. Like I think that's just a that's just a theory that people have, and I don't think there's any actual like there's no hard evidence that like, you know, there's no like if you average out the the you know the DCI ratings of everyone in these queues, it's higher in the in the single elimination queues. I don't think that's true. <laughs> Why do people incorrectly? Why do people incorrectly play Supreme Phantom in non spirit decks? I don't understand it. I, you know, the thing is, I wouldn't even give someone a hard time if they just asked, like, do you think it's correct to play Skyscanner in non-artifact decks? I would be like, no, that's a great question. That's a totally valid question. It's when you say it like, why do people think it's cool to play Sky... Why do people incorrectly play this card in non-artifact decks? And you're also clearly talking to me, not people, right? You're not like, why do people do that? No, you're talking to me, because I have two in my deck. So, like, let's not... Let's, let's call it what it is, right? Can we top deck another Supreme Phantom? Nine nine power and flyers by turn turn three. That would be so sick, right? Jordan, what's going on, buddy? Phil Kamani, what's going on? Oaken form. Well, I'm gonna dwindle that guy. It's super passive aggressive. That's the thing. It gets to me. I'm just like, you're talking to me. Just say, just talk to me. I'm right here. That's literally the point of Twitch. It's like, oh my God. <laughs> this, this is a limited match, ladies and gentlemen. This is a limited match. Uh, it doesn't matter if he has more auras. It's just a draw. Whenever they cast an enchantment, they draw a card. Oh my God. Yep, I will take another five because we have nine power on board and a dwindle. I am good to go. Spirit drawn is real. <laughs> oh my god. Well, we had a good time. Of course they have the rare Wrath of God. Why wouldn't they? <laughs> oh, the Bane Fire. That's a good one. Yep. Well, that was fun. We had a good time. Land, please? No land. Alright, so now we just get stuck on... Well, we're not blocking, so. Well, it's, it's, I'm not saying there's a no. I didn't mean to say there. I didn't mean to imply there was a non-rare wrath. I just meant to imply that the 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 wrath that of course they have the rare card that is a wrath. Well, that was good times. <laughs> you Clark can now play around rares. Well, he didn't play around my three spirit supreme phantoms, so I guess that's the thing. Oh, how nice! Everything's going exactly according to plan. 
I felt so good about our three, our our nine powers and flyers. Now we just can't draw a third, fourth land, so I'm just gonna scoop it up. Oh boy. Well, that was a fun game. Everybody, both sides played hard. I'm gonna bring in duress. I don't want you to have that. I mean, if that Supreme Phantom was a, a Sky Scanner instead, I probably could have hit a fourth land. <laughs> is it one or two? I think it's. Is it one? Oh wow, that's gas. That's gas. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep this hand because we have enough to do everything we want. La da 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 da. Sold my first coconut to a cool guy. Said it's definitely straight coconut. <laughs> this is just straight coconut, but buddy, they just took coconut and froze it. They didn't even try to fancy it up with ice cream. With uh, I like that the Skyscanner comment person never just never said anything else. Well, I guess I'll go now. I thought I was going to next level with my artifact strategy, and then it turns out that they had more solid logic than I did, so I left. I just left. Oh, they're getting one land now. All right. Well, thankfully, the pressure is not on you, so... This is intense. This is an intense game. I think people incorrectly say stupid things in Twitch cap trap because the opportunity to next level someone who is a perceived better player, the opportunity to one up that person is so strong and your your loss if you don't do it is 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 virtually nothing. You basically you lose nothing. Right? Your opportunity, the opportunity cost is so low. They just do it. You're just like, you know what? I'm going to say this. If it's right, I look so smart. And if it's wrong, I'll just close the window. So people just say it. If they're right, cool. Well, this is a game. Put you on top. Never look at you again. You're bad at magic, lol. The opportunity cost is... That's true. You are correct. There is no cost to saying that. Let's see what you got. Will you show me? I wanna know. Hiring Hydra, green one... Did you keep this? One... Look, a sky scanner. This isn't even an artifact deck. What a dummy. <laughs> what a dummy. Doesn't he know this is an artifact deck? I thought for sure I would have seen a scoop there, but... Well, I'm not going to show you anything else. Oh, Magic players definitely love feeling clever. Like, that is like... Uh-oh. We did it. We did it, boys. Um, Yeah, I'm just going to kill this. I'm just going to win the game. Actually, if you get rid of this, nothing else you do can really stop us. So I'll just play this guy. I don't care. This is game two. They said good game after this one? Oh, wait. Oh, that was round three. Round one was the... Oh! I'm so not smart. I would have said good game back. I thought this was... Huh. Huh. 
I think I just blacked out. I think the chat overtook me for some reason. I literally thought that was round two. I thought we lost game one in round two. I guess I thought game one was a match, and I'm just like, oh, cool, I won the match. I'm really good. Can we quote, I'm just going to win the game? Actually. <laughs> oh, man. Good lord, man. Can you guys correct me in chat and be like, God, what? Why? I don't know why people incorrectly think this is round two when it's actually round three. <laughs> I smell. You guys smell that burning smell? I think my house is on fire. I just can't get over it. like that dude said one thing and then he's like, "All right, peace out." This is my sky scanner input. See you later. I'm out. Uh, straight up keep. Any, every day of the week. Oh, this and this? Woo! <laughs> Why do people incorrectly play the second match when it's best of three? Why would you first pick Solomon Legacy Cube? It's so ridiculous. <laughs> I don't think I ever would do that, but I, I wouldn't fault someone for doing it either. You know what I mean? Like, I think that card's fine. Why is it so hard for people to remember that there are three games in a match? I don't know, dude. I don't know. To be fair, your opponent played Sky Scanner, not Artifact Deck, and he lost. The evidence is is mounting. You're not wrong. Okay, big gargs. I got you. I don't foresee us attacking here. They just block, and then we just have to either... Well, we don't do anything, really. We make a 2-3 and die, or... RO5 uh, just bounces. Oh, you're going to float on over. All right. I see you. They see me floating. They hating. Patrolling and trying to catch me running dirty. Sky Scanner is a very polarizing card. Everyone who plays the card on MTG either wins or loses. You're right. It's so there's no gray area really. If you play Sky Scanner, you're gonna win that game or you're gonna lose that game, 100 percent this stream day is keeping me from losing my mind at work. That's all I can ask for. I like this on the defender. That's gas. That's gas. Draw. Oh, wow. What a great draw. Kind of. I mean, it's a play thing we can play. I got excited because it was a thing we can play. One caca bug. <laughs> oh, Kerwit. You are the hero we need, but not the one we deserve. I'm pretty sure I'm going to block this guy. I think we win this game if we can just resolve a symbiont. So hopefully they don't have Essence Scottario. Scottario. No. Oh, wow. That resolved real fast. All right. So next turn we can go Mirror Image Harpy. All right. Bokeh. Bokeh. Excuse me. One, two. We can also play these two. I kind of like. No, it's definitely this and this, right? They see me rolling. They hating. Patrolling. Oh, they got rid of a salvager of secrets. I'm gonna need a removal spell here. Yeah, we're gonna need a removal spell 10 4, good buddy. I'm gonna copy this guy. 
Oh, I guess we just win the game. That's a pretty good. Hey, that's a pretty good. I wonder if they just didn't want me to see that last card. I wonder what it could be. Our deck's pretty good. I hope there's a I hope there's a promo for Supreme Phantom where in the background there's a cleansing nova. That's what I want. And then we can always remember. We can never forget. 730. Phantom Tron. Never forget. Yeah, let's just crest is good. That probably would have done the job if only we had that in hand. Concession is a strong removal spell. If my opponent's got a concession, I'm just like, I wonder if I want this mind rot in here. I'm gonna be, I'll rot some mines. I saw this meme today and it was real funny. So, the California Supreme Court decided a case that could add billions in labor costs to employers' bottom line by requiring them to pay employees for work time that previously went uncompensated. You have to pay employees for work being framed as adding billions to labor costs. It's the most America thing ever. And I was like, yes it is. That's incredible. They're going to add billions in labor costs to companies. Uh, it's not really what they're doing. But okay. Tonight is modern again, and since I went 1-2 with my Tron deck against three other Tron decks, I have packed my Tron side with some spicy anti-Tron tech. We support my Tron campaign to destroy it. Oh, yeah, I think I, the classic kill one to save many. Yeah, you can also be a double agent. Um, You could be a, a Tron double agent where you're like, you know what? I'm playing Tron, but I'm really a good guy. And, of course, no one's going to believe you when you say that. So it's actually the best cover. No one's ever going to believe you're the good guy when you say I'm playing Tron, I'm the good guy. So it's it's perfect. Uh-oh, Sky Scanner. Man, I'm really appreciative of this Sky Scanner meme that's been generated from this one random Twitch comment. That was fantastic. Uh, whoever you were, thank you so much. Okay, well, that's a lot of nerds. Look, I can get in there still. It's going to be amazing. Ready? I really don't want to... I, I don't want this Tolarian Scholar to, like... I, I don't want to have to use this on, on this is what I'm, I'm getting at. But, I, I mean, I think I will if I have to because it's four points. <coughs> Excuse me. I'll probably use it on that. Oh, or do I just want a divination here? Uh, I don't think I care about this right now, to be quite honest. I'm going to divinate. I'd rather hit a six drop for next turn. <clears throat> My voice is all weird now. Oh, instead I just hit two lands. Mm, fantastic. That's um, wonderful. I heard you pronounce... As, uh, as as Af one time, and I always say it because of you, I died the first time I heard you say it. Still, oh, I say Af all the time. Yeah, and and actually, people make they're like, I'm sorry, what did you say? It's it's actually Af, and I'm like, no, no, it's Af. Like I'm gonna be destroying this. I'm gonna be killing killing. I no, I can't do it. I can't make a good meme right now. I'm sorry. I'll it'll, it'll come to me naturally. Oh, no attacks. Five mana, no attacks. Cancel? Are they prepping for the, uh... This guy. I think they were just waiting for the six drop, so they're like, I'm gonna keep up this cancel. I don't have a six drop. I'm just gonna play this guy instead. <laughs> and they're like, dang it, I can't let that resolve, can I? You totally can. Just let it happen. Hey, is a pretty good. Let's 
So if you make this guy, I'm tempted to actually play, yeah, we're gonna do a thing here. Yeah, there's no more point. I guess we can just sack it to the Harpy, which is probably better. Yeah, we're probably gonna sack both these to the Harpy and then get them back with the Macaw Balls next turn. Uh, the reason we we're gonna attack first is because not only is it an easy way to get it in the graveyard, but it also taps them out so they can't cancel our Macaw Balls, which is pretty bad. They have five cards, that's a lot. We're going to top deck uh, Mind Rot, and then they're going to cancel that because they're like, well, two cards is worse than one card. Certainly two cards is worse than one. They 1,000% have canceled in their hand. It's not bad. <clears throat> so I think we're attacking with both of these dudes. You block here, we'll sack it. Totally fine, totally fine. And if you cancel the Grave Digger, we can get it back with Macaw Balls, which is still fine. Yep. Macaw! So we'll play this guy. They will cancel this because it's just very, very good. I mean, they're thinking about it. Which gives us which gives us way to play the Macabre Waltz. Oh. Well, in my face. Boy, they are. They are not concerned with my, my plays here. I was having lunch with some guys from work the other day and I had spaghetti just to be able to say somebody touched my spaghetti. <laughs> well, I think I'm gonna be I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna give a, have a controversial take right here. I think spaghetti is an inferior noodle. I'm a much bigger fan of angel hair, and I'm also a much bigger fan of like uh thicker noodles like penne or ziti. So yeah, you know, I don't wanna I don't wanna be giving you any hot takes here, but Just this guy. I can also see sacking Grave Digger to Macabalts, but I, I, I'm really putting them on cancel here. I think Linguini's a great needle. Spaghetti is the sky scanner of pasta. Ravioli. I think ravioli is in a class by itself. I think any stuffed pasta goes to a different uh, goes to a different level. When was that? I'm a big angel hair pasta added. Uh oh, what's going on here? I see. Actually, we can kill this. This is pretty nice. Three, four, five, six. Yeah, we can't make it big enough. This is actually great for us. <clears throat> yep, that was pretty sweet. Um, I don't think you ever block with chromium. Just never. I want to play this guy because there's nothing in the graveyard that I really want to get back. I'd rather get this... Uh, I'd rather get Gravedigger back, and I'd rather get both of these back, because it's just infinite value. If he discards, then if Chromium becomes a 1-1 one, one with 3 damage on it. So, I mean, they can, but then it just dies. So... Yep. All right, get to keep Macaw Balls. Pretty gas.
God, the army of three threes is pretty frustrating. I think we get just Harpy and Doom to center back. I don't think we're ever getting through with the Surge Mare. I've seen me rolling. I mean, our top decks are probably good from here on out. Like, Double Symbiont, Horizon Scholar, Mirror Image. Mirror Image copying Gravedigger is just fine. Any stuffed fried carb is amazing. You know what? I can't even disagree with you. I can't even disagree. Any carb is amazing. Wow, we were really next leveled there. Ooh, two on the bottom. All right, well. I would like to sack this Doom Dissenter to this Ravenous, Ravenous Harpy again. Are we at a point where we can just sack our board and win? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Not yet. Yeah, the Skittering Surveyor uh, comparison is actually fantastic, right? Like... It's exactly, it was like one of the best cards in Dominaria. People were taking it, I mean, it's not just because it fixes your mana, like it's card advantage, it's just a, a card that comes down. Oh, all right. I guess we just win. I could have sworn they had to cancel. Um, interesting. All right. Well, our deck's good, so I guess that says it all. This hand is great. What a fantastic hand. Wow. David, I'm not even going to comment on that joke. That's it's not great. It's not good. This is the child of the night. Whoa. Oh, yeah. Child of the night.
Hmm. Is it Harpy or is it Divination? It's probably Harpy, right? Oh, man. Look at this guy. I am the hired blade. Yeah, no blocks. Oh, dang. How are you going to come at me with that? Oh, God. Skyscan? That's the worst draw ever. It's only like half a divination. Great. Oh, yeah. Second Swamp. Good times, good times. Oh, they missed a land drop. That's good for us. What kind of stream did I just join? That's what I asked. I've been asking myself that for years, buddy. Actual years. About my own stream, no less. What's more important, getting the Thopter off the board or getting a, another counter on this guy? Probably getting a counter on this guy. The Thopter doesn't pose a threat to us at this point. But the extra counter goes a long way. We're going to Divination keep up a blue in case we want a Macabre Waltz. Or in case we draw rather... Uh, Oh, I guess we don't get to keep anything up because we played Atlantis turn. I don't know how magic works. It's a hard game. Sure. That's actually pretty aggressive. Well, that's not well. That's not bad. So we can actually Macabalts get back these two. Keep up. I don't really want to disperse anything. I think I'd almost rather strangling spores this guy and keep up to and, and Macabalts this turn. I'll deal three, didn't take five, that's totally fine. Oh, I see the chat has devolved into dad joke territory. I see. Well then. Can I get one of my, my many six drops in the deck? Well, that would be good if we hit a thing. I guess we're just going to play you. You know what to do. So we can actually block bounce Harpy. That could be reasonable.
They have five cards? Oh, God. We only need to draw some gas here. Which is sad, because we've drawn Divination, played this guy twice. We've drawn five more cards than they have, but... I really want these six drops that can close out games. Dang it. Where's my Plague Mare? Doomed Dissenter. This guy and the Harperino. All right. <laughs> this is Sean Connery. Wow, this is terrible. Oh, God. This chat is really... It's gone off the rails. I don't know if there ever were any rails, to be quite honest. Oh, I see. You're just gonna kill that guy again. Okay, well, that's your, that's your prerogative, bucko. Well, now we're totally blocking. Big guy. Oh, uh, that's a regular size guy. You're at 12. This guy's going to 100% start getting in there. Oh, God. Why is the room any mode only chat? Who did this? Who did this? Well, at least one of us can draw their Psychic Symbiont. I, however, will draw... Hot Garbo. All four of these in front of this... All three of these in front of this guy is a pretty poor trade. I guess we get to take out two. I'm game. Wow. Wow. Oh, just a chump. Okay. Well, I guess we've got to keep a land in hand to play around Psychic Symbiont. I have no idea what's going Oh, good. How nice. How nice. Uh, most, at least one of us can draw our bombs. Nice hair. Hope it wins. Yeah, cool. 11 lands. They're at seven? Like, we could put them to six? Oh. I mean, that doesn't do anything unless this guy gets in there. Oh, they get zombies too? Yeah, this is terrible. I can't beat that. Sweet lands. Cool. All right. Um... I'm actually going to bring this guy in. I could probably use the pressure. I wish I had a... Yeah, Mine Rot's good too. Alright, we'll take out... My little sky scanner was in the graveyard.
Sure. I think we're going to lose again. I don't feel great about this hand or this uh, this matchup, but we'll see. Why, why, why do we still get the questions about 41 cards? This is very strange to me. Deprogram yourself. Fuck money. Take it easy, buddy. If I had a million dollars. <laughs> Sorry, they can't all be scared. That's that's fair. That's fair. Valid point. No, I regularly run 41 cards because it's almost inconsequential. I mean, the percentages of difference is so small, but I like the option of uh, like running, you know, 0.5 less lands, basically. Eh, we'll just leave it up. <laughs> Brian, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. I, you know what? I'll go. I'll. I'm gonna say something controversial here. I also don't think subscribing is cheating. I agree with you. I don't want to keep waiting because if we happen to draw six drop next turn, then we're gonna play it. They go draw, go to six land thing. I don't know. I just want to get this out of my hand. Wow. Exclusion mage is an interesting one to drop. Walking corpse is not. How do you decide when to mine rot? I it's hard. You kind of got to think. Oh, that's pretty cool. However, if they kill this in response, it's it's just terrible, right? I guess we just macabre. Let's get both back. Oh, it worked. Well, I'll be a biscuit. Now they're both strangle strangling spores immune. Wow, you've been strumming like four of the streams? Unbelievable. You think you know a guy. We've almost assembled Supreme Phantom Tron. You sit and listen to my myself. Okay. We're doing it again. One, two, three, four, five, six, two, eight lands. I'm pretty sure they have spores and they're going to kill one. So I'd almost rather dwindle here. thumbnail david it's called a thumbnail not an overlay god get your life together <sighs> i know they have spores i don't think it's worth dwindling here with macabalts in hand at least we'll get two in and we'll still have a 1 3 on the board. So. BRB, getting life together. All right, let me know when you get it. Thank you. 
Brando, thank you so much for the resub. Welcome back. I hate when people mix up Overland thumbnail. Yep, here we go. I will spores you. And then they get to keep their thopter as well. Yep. Magic's a hard game. I would have probably gotten rid of this one because, like... Hmm, whatever. I don't know. Oh wow, they're getting aggressive. Huh. All right, well this works out nicely. What could be a cause of possible stronger copy than Spirit Tron? Nothing. Nothing could. Spiritron is is love. Spiritron is life. Oh, for fuck's sake. I have two of those in Horizon Scholar in my deck. If I could draw one of them, I'd be really appreciative. I feel like that's not asking for a lot. Oh, hey, look, we did it. <laughs> All right. It's fantastic. It'll be a land, so it's fine. If I... <laughs> Ooh, good times. So I think they just block with everything here. Nope, just this idiot. All right, sounds good. Three twenty? What's three twenty? Any non North American nationality, what would it be? Um I don't know, this is a weird question. It's not a bad question, it's just a weird question because Oh, three twenty subs? Oh. Yeah, it'll go down. It'll be three it'll be three oh eight tomorrow. And then on on Wednesday it'll be two ninety seven again. Don't worry, it's okay. We can't we can't keep up the. Oh good, one two, three four five creatures in your graveyard. How nice. Well, of course I could draw. Well, spores is in the graveyard. We could draw a lich's caress, right? What? Oh, that's real aggressive. All right, that's actually too. How did you lose? Both sides played hard? No, we just, just lost. Perhaps he is not a witch. It is very possible. Oh, indestructible, huh? Well, that's pretty good. Yep, just one of those days. Wow, Quacker with the Limp Biscuit lyrics.
So they make a dude at the end of the turn. I guess we can block that guy. Are we dead though? Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Not necessarily. Lich's caress would be nice. Because then they lose their stupid Lich. Oh wow, Lich's caress kills their Lich if we use it on the Thopter. That's pretty hilarious. Yep. I mean, I don't know how, how we can draft better decks in, in limited. Like, oh wow, you don't have to tap to use this guy? Oh, for fudge sake, dude. That's insane. Oh, yeah, we might be dead now. I guess we have to chump block here. He's not attacking with this guy. So if we don't block here, say we block like 2-2 two, two, and 1-2, we take 5. You're probably not attacking with this guy either. So I guess we'll just wait. I don't want to do math before you actually attack. What do you got in your hand? Oh, two lands. Oh, that's cool. No, nah, it ain't. Gravedigger? Make, they make two more one, two more two twos this turn. We actually we just lose. That's unbelievable. Another land, another land, another land. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. This is fifteen of seventeen lands in the top twenty-five cards. Top twenty-four cards actually. Top twenty twenty-four cards because we actually drew another card. Nine out of nine nine spells sixteen lands in the top twenty twenty four cards. What can you do? Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Uh, ideally, we will uh, go back to winning trophies one of these days. I'm not sure when that day is because I feel like all these decks are like great examples of uh, of what you want to be doing in this format. Saichi, thank you so much for the the resub. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. And uh, if you guys enjoy the content, slam those like and subscribe buttons. If you don't enjoy the content. Feel free to slam that dislike button, but let me know why. I'd really appreciate it. Also, you can check out my Twitch or Patreon links, both in the description below, if you want to support my content in other ways. Thank you guys for watching. really appreciate it. I'll see you next time.